Station 9 is online. Activate teleporter. Hello, hello. Hi, welcome to Station 9, the satellite of hope, the nexus of the omniverse, and the home of Wolfwire Media, and your host, me, Ari. Hi there, hello, and today we have another episode of the group of rather unusual blokes. Um, yeah. So, last time they had found Metatron, who apparently blew everybody up. Um, I mean... That part kind of sucked. But you know, I'm sure that everything works out on account of I've already heard this and you haven't. <laughs> I, I, well, I, somebody's got to listen to know what to put in the, you know, in the, in the, in the theme song and stuff. I mean, who do you think does the announcing? It didn't come with that. I had to work hard on that. I had to work really hard. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you guys get it. Computer, play the thingy. Command acknowledged. Begin playback. Activate high tech tape deck. Adventures of the group of rather unusual blokes. Professor Wiz Banger, steampunk inventor. I say, onward! The enigmatic host, a man from a post apocalyptic wasteland. <laughs> Dr. Thomas James Hyper, billionaire philanthropist and inventor from the future. Gentlemen, let's go to work. Cosmos, a superpowered man of the stars. The Void stares back. And Captain Alexander Cross, smuggler, rogue, and wanted man. Hey, 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 you forgot dashing and brilliant. Aboard the starship, chances taken. They search the stars for adventure. They are the group of rather unusual blokes. Today's adventure. Episode 4. Fallen. Thomas, host, I don't think they can hear us, dear boy. We're alone down here. I, uh, I honestly didn't, uh, I didn't think that would, well, that anyone could do that. Now, now, don't push yourself, dear boy. Rather spectacular of you to uh, throw up that shield the way you did. <laughs> We'd both be dead if not for that and uh, my inflatable decoy. The good thing that automaton was so uh, dense. Stay still, lad. You're going to be fine. 
Those bandages should hold you, though you seem rather, uh, human now. I was. Once. No, 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 no. Don't speak. My cosmic force drained. Feels so cold without it. I, I can't. I can't imagine how. Now isn't the time. You need to keep up your strength, Mark. It's going to be some time before we are rescued. Tyler. Tyler. Big pardon. My name. Before the storm. Before my sister and I became like this. <laughs> Perhaps not the best time for origin stories then, old chap. Perhaps a bit of tea will help there. The Watch of Ages does say 4 p.m. after all. Ha ha ha! Tea? At a time like this? Why, yes. Don't you know, dear boy? Everything stops for tea. All right, then. <laughs> just... Just one more cup. For the road. Oh, uh, of course, dear boy. Uh, one lump or... What is... Uh, the Watch of Ages? The Watch? Oh, my dear boy! This watch is synchronized to the cosmic core! Tells accurate time in any place in the cosmos. Uh, and any dimension, too, it seems. Professor. Uh, give. Uh, uh, give me the watch. Uh, wouldn't you rather have the tea? I can feel it. That's all for this time, adventurers. Tune in next time to find out more about Professor Whizbanger, Captain Cross, TJ Cosmos, and the host. Find out what happened to Cosmos and the Professor. What is the Cosmic Core, and what will it do to Tyler? Find out next time on our next adventure of the group of rather unusual blokes. Playback completed. Hurry to the main stage, please. Engage teleport. Hi, I'm back. Well, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They, um... They did the thing. They did the thing. Look, I don't really understand entirely what's going on, but let me do my best here. Um, the professor gave him tea and the incredibly close to dead Cosmos opened the professor's pocket watch and pulled a Doctor Who out of his pocket watch. Oh, snap! Or maybe the watch just glows in the dark. I don't know. Personally, I'm hoping for a Doctor Who. But, I mean, that's just me. I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god. Whatever. Look, anyway, I'm gonna see you guys next time here on Station 9 for Wolfwire Media. Um, roll the credits? Credit roll activate. See you next time. 
the group of rather unusual blokes. Written, voiced, and directed by Justin Tovar. Music by R. Swan. Find her at rswan.bandcamp.com. The theme song to the group of rather unusual blokes, Dragon Dance. Today's music bed was next. The ending credit music is November. Remember to keep it tuned here to hear more of your favorite podcast, The Group of Rather Unusual Blokes. We'll see you next time. Hang on, boys, help is on the way.